So to begin, why choose the health sciences? I think when the University of Ottawa was thinking about this faculty, as we continue to grow our faculty, we continually think about the strategic location of health science students within the downtown core. So that means you're connected to many different hospitals within the downtown core. You have your very own special campus, especially nursing students um, located at Lees to help uh, administer all of these different types of labs available to you. I would say health sciences is one of the most hands-on faculties, um, simply because a lot of you are training to be professionals within the field, working with customers with your hands. Um, and I think that is also available to you. And then when it comes to labs, we have so many accesses for students to access different equipment, access different types of labs, which is really cool. And a great example of that is this picture right here with our nursing students. So this doll essentially is a simulation doll. Nursing students will obviously use it. They cost like 10 grand, it's insane. Um, but they blink, they make noises. You can practice putting IVs into them. They simulate birth. Uh, they're all very interesting but usually these are the dolls our nursing students will use in the first two years and then in your last two years you'll really go, be going out into the field into the hospitals and um, practicing with real life people. So the health sciences, why the University of Ottawa? We have a 95 employment rate for our nursing grads. We are a very prestigious nursing program uh, in Ontario. So this is a fantastic program to be in. Another big thing is there is hands-on experience for students interested in human kinetics. We do have a kinesiology option available to students that are interested in human kinetics as well. When it comes to health sciences, there are many internships. Health sciences tends to be very uh, a very interdisciplinary program. Um, so you can kind of do it the policy route. So whether you want to work for the government, you want to implement nutrition policies, maybe you're a student interested in nutrition and food sciences, or you can simply just go the kinesiology route, the physiotherapy route as well, or occupational therapy or audiology as well. So what programs do we offer at the University of Ottawa? Well, you're seeing them on this screen here. Um, we do have nutrition and food sciences. So you're seeing the career opportunities here. This is a really, really interesting program. I really do love it. Nutrition at the University of Ottawa is a bilingual program. However, you'll see that it's called nutrition and food sciences. Food sciences can be done in English um, there. Now, we also do have the health sciences program, as I said, very interdisciplinary. You can go the policy route, but you can also get into med school and whatnot. And I had a friend, Andrea, she did health sciences at the University of Ottawa. She's at the University of Ottawa's med school right now. So career opportunities, you can work in occupational health and safety. You can be a global health researcher. You could do public health specialist. You could be a public health specialist as well. Now, let's get into the human kinetics because I know potentially there are many students interested in that. Um, so again, we have two different types of programs here. We have the Bachelors of Social Sciences in Human Kinetics, and then we have the Bachelors of Science. Um, if you're looking to do something a little bit more, um, uh, not psychology, um, oh my god, what, physiotherapy related, then biophysical sciences is the way you want to go. If you want to go into more education, policy, um, you want to go into sports management, management, then the social sciences might be for you. Now, as I mentioned, we also do have nursing. 95% of our nursing grads get jobs shortly after graduation. It is a fantastic program. It is also a very fiercely competitive program at the University of Ottawa. Now, something I do want to mention, we have three different campuses. We have main campus, Lee's campus, excuse we have main campus, we have um, Algonquin College, uh, Woodruff campus, and we have Pembroke. Now, when you're applying to U Ottawa, those are three different application um, uh, choices in itself. So if you don't apply for Woodruff and you apply for main campus and you don't get into main campus, we won't consider you for Woodruff or Pembroke, all right? Now you heard me say the word college and a lot of students think that this is a joint program. So it's a college and university program. That is not true. It's a University of Ottawa program. We simply just have so much demand that we can't house students on all students on main campus. Um, so that's something to, to keep an eye out for. We also do not offer alternative offers in nursing, again, because it's a very geared program specifically to the field of nursing. 
All right. So what do students do after their undergrad? Well, a lot of opportunities for you. You could apply to the Faculty of Medicine. Like I said, my friend Andrea did health sciences. She's in medicine right now. You could choose to go the education route. Maybe you want to be a PE teacher. Um, maybe you want to teach sports elsewhere with an academy or a club. Um, and then we also do have master's programs available to students. So we have rehabilitation sciences in the French. We have audiology. We have speech language pathology, another very competitive program. Program. We have occupational therapy and physiotherapy as well for our students. So what makes us unique at the University of Ottawa? Well, there are many different things you can add on to your degree. Yeah, sure, you can do health sciences at University X, Y, and Z, but I think the hands-on learning experience, the caliber of teaching also makes a difference um, and helps students decide on what they want. So we do have a French immersion program available to students. We are the only French immersion program in Canada. It's really unique. Um, so any students interested in going into med, uh, going into anything customer related, going into policy, um, French is gonna serve you incredibly well because French is an official language of Canada. So if you've taken any type of French program, whether it's core French, extended French or French immersion in high school, you're admissible for a French immersion program, there is a test. You do have to take two of your five courses every semester in French. So it comes out to be about 40% of your courses over the course of four years are taken in French. You do get, you do get a thousand dollar bursary. But something really unique about the University of Ottawa is although you'll be studying in French and English, you always have the right to submit any of your assignments, any of your exams in English if you wanted to. Now, as I mentioned, it's really the experiences that will make one university different from the other. Um, and I think UOttawa does a really good job at giving students the hands-on experiences required to get that experience in the field. So you can do that through volunteering. We do have a food bank that's available to help people um, that may not have the resources to pay for groceries, pay for nutrition. Um, we also do have the U Ottawa free store. This is a place where students can donate their items for free and other students in need of items that maybe don't have the money to buy used or new items can come pick them up for free. We also do have Basket Plus and the Haitian Sports Federation as well. We also do have a lot of student clubs and associations, federations. Um, so a good example of that is our sports business club. Maybe you're interested in sports management, then this might be a great club for you to join. We also do have the Health Sciences Networking Association. So you want to get to know um, experts in the field, great place to be. We also have the U Ottawa Heart Institute Student Foundation. Now, research is a very, very big thing we do at the University of Ottawa. We have a program called Europe undergraduate research opportunity program. And it's available for any student and any faculty. And so you'll do about 75 hours of research. You get $1,000 for doing it. Students will typically do it in their third and fourth year. But here are some really good examples of research that our students are doing, our professors are doing. Um, so we have health technology, leisure studies. Leisure studies is really the understanding um, of health programs, um, looking into creating programs that are going to make impacts in communities. We have physical activity and quality of life, motor control and learning, very, very important, community level health interventions and patient family experience in palliative care situations. And I think we've seen a big rise of interest in the health sciences given the situation that we're in, we're in a pandemic. And I think these unique research opportunities um, these professors that are specializing in things like the COVID vaccine, um, that are um, specializing in, in family care and palliative care, um, I think are some really good indicators as to what the quality of education might be at the University of Ottawa. Now, I'm just going to ask Angelique, if you can drop the view book um, in the chat right now, you might have already done it. But this is a great way for you to get to know more about the University of Ottawa and our programs. We only have about nine minutes left, but I really want to plug this in. This is going to be your best friend when it comes to getting to know the University of Ottawa. All this information that I'm talking about, you'll find over here. So Angelique will drop that in the chat. And then if you go into the um, like lime green section, you'll be able to see the health sciences. There are a couple of stats, but you'll also find our programs, career opportunities, and cool courses you can take. And I think that will really help you decide on what program um, is good for you. All right, let's keep going. Let's talk about student services. 
Now, as I mentioned, this is a big thing. And I think if there's anything you can learn from my experiences when I was a student at the University of Ottawa, it's to do your homework beforehand on what universities offer in terms of academic support. Um, because I did it, I, I was really grateful I did it because as soon as I stepped into the university, took my first class, I knew where I could get help, how I could get help and how that help was offered to me and how it was going to benefit me. And I actually did pretty well. My, my university grades versus my high school grades, pretty on par. Um, and I would say that's because I was able to assess what I needed. I was able to assess where to go and I was able to get that help. And I think there's a lot of help available at the University of Ottawa. So we do have a mentoring center. We do have about over 200 mentors on campus just campus wide. Um, but for the health sciences, you can see the lovely students over here um, that give their time to make sure that you as new students, whether, you know, first, second year, even your third or fourth year, that they're able to help you. And so they have study groups, they have science workshops available to you. So if you have to take organic chemistry too, um, that is a very painful course I have heard. Um, these students can help you navigate any of the challenges you're going through. Um, and we also do have academic accommodations available to students. Now, when it comes to mental health and well-being, um, I think this definitely is something I want you all to take very seriously. We do have a counseling and coaching um, office on campus. You can do single session walk-in counseling. You can do short-term counseling. There's also the opportunity to do long-term counseling if needed. Um, there's also physical activity counseling. We do have pet therapy. That tends to be a really good event. It's just kind of a laid back place where you go, you hang out with dogs. I really loved it. We have our very own Byword Health Clinic on campus. So we have doctors, um, we have family doctors, we have a pharmacy, we have physiotherapists, we have like pretty much everything. Because we're a mid to large sized university, we have everything on campus. Even so, um, we have our very own COVID testing facilities that's solely for students and employees. Um, and we will be getting our own COVID vaccin uh, vaccination clinic as well, which is pretty cool. Um, we also do have our Indigenous Resource Center. So any student that wants to stay close to their roots, want to be, wants to continue be, being educated by elders from communities, um, we do have our Indigenous Resource Center available here for students. Now let's talk a little bit about money because I know that might be something on your mind. The University of Ottawa is one of Canada's most generous scholarship and bursaries program. How generous? $42 million generous, which is insane. Um, so on the screen right now, you're seeing two automatic scholarships. The first is for your first year, it's your admission scholarship. So any student entering in fall 2021, You've already seen this. For any student that might not know about it, well, essentially, if you get an 80% or higher, we'll be able to give you an admission scholarship um, based on your admission average. And you'll be able to see, so if you're in grade 11 right now, just think about your average, you can place yourself on the chart here. Then we have the merit scholarship, and that is a bi-semester scholarship. Um, if you're a Canadian citizen, um, permanent resident or refugee, you'll start this in your second year. Um, so essentially every semester you get an 8.5 TGPA will give you $1,000 for the following semester. Why do I really love the merit scholarship? Because it's a bi-semester scholarship. Sometimes it's possible you have a bad semester and that's cool. Life happens. And what I like about it is you're never penalized for having a bad semester. If you don't get the 8.5 that one semester, it's cool because you always have the opportunity to gain that thousand dollars back in the following semester if you do have an 8.5 TGPA. So I really love it. With these two scholarships, you can receive up to $10,000 automatically. Um, and if you're a French immersion student, because we give you a thousand dollars every year, that's up to $14,000 automatically. Now there are many other scholarships available to you. This is just one example of an in-faculty scholarship. It's called the Linda Ann Whitson Memorial Admission Scholarship for students coming in their first year. And it's a minimum of $1,500. Now, where can you access these scholarships? Well, when you get onto Use Owner Student Portal after you apply, you'll be able to click on applications. You'll scroll down to online scholarships and bursaries. And that $42 million I was talking about, well, you'll find that in our navigator. And so a good example of what you might be eligible for, in my fourth year, I was eligible for over 300 different scholarships. 
Um, and as a tip from an alumni to a future student, take time to apply to all scholarships um, as much as possible. We do have an other scholarship available for students that maybe have a low, lower socioeconomic background. Um, so it's called the Social Accountability Pre-Med Bursary for students of low socioeconomic status. So if your family income is below a certain level and just take out your phones right now or open up Word and type in this scholarship into Google or whatever, it's valued at $40,000. So essentially it's for students who are looking to go into med school after their undergraduate, but may face financial or socioeconomic incomes in their undergrad that don't let them fully focus on their education. So this is a great scholarship to help, help fund your um, education in your undergrad um, and is a, an avenue for you to focus on your studies if you're interested in going into med school later on. 